I've been asking myself that. And I don't know. I don't know who I am. And I think the wonderful thing about not knowing who I am is I don't limit myself to one thing. I think who I am is, is fundamentally shifting all the time. And if I could identify the one thing that I am that, that other people might, might see me as, um, a life coach, um, a student, somebody that likes to put himself outside of what is comfortable and to explore the wonders of life. What if, what got you in your journey of unlocking your greatest potential? Like, what was that tipping point? I think it goes back to my childhood. Um, I was very fortunate to have grown up with a lot of love and support in my childhood. And that carried on through, through to where I am right now. So I think that um, what I've experienced and been very fortunate to experience is a real sense of belonging. And that has, that has allowed me to ask the questions, um, to feel comfortable in places like this where initially the lead up to an event like this is really scary. What if I lose my, my words? What if I mess up in some way? What, what's going to happen? Um, and what I've noticed is that when I step outside of what is comfortable, when I exist in action in the world, in connection with other people, I notice that that fear that I had was way bigger in the lead up to it. And that when I actually existed in the moment with everyone, doing manifesting what it is that is meaningful to me, um, you find out that it's all right. How do you overcome that fear at the beginning, like the anticipation? Mm. Other than just do it, um, overcoming, overcoming fear. I think, I think that you, you, have, you have to look at yourself and, and identify what it is that you're passionate about, what it is that you, interests you, and to align what it is that you're thinking about and how you're feeling and what you're doing in, in your life. self-actualization, how do you mm -hmm. do self-actualization? How, how do you become self-actualized? Or yeah, how do you have your journey on self-actualization? Mm. Definition and how mm. do you become So, self-actualization was a term that um, Abraham Maslow came up with in 1943. And it's a term in, in positive psychology that refers to the process of becoming your greatest potential. And I think I think that I think that an exploration of one's greatest potential has to do with three human capacities that we all share. The capacity to love, the capacity to know, and the capacity to act. And I think that if you are exploring all three of those things at the same time, and that those three things are in alignment, then you will be walking a path towards self-actualization. You can wake up every day and walk towards actualizing your potential. But I don't think you ever reach your potential. I think I think it's a combination of of factors that you walk towards that um, as as an ever expanding.
form of who you are. I don't think there's a limit to who you can become. Go back to the fear. Um, we can agree yeah. that fear is illusion that we create in our mind. I think some of it is. I think fear is also a very real experience that everyone has and that everyone will always have fundamentally. And I think that when, when dealing with your own fear, um, the best, you, you, what I've experienced in my own life anyway, is that my relationship to fear changes. And whereas, you know, in, in many instances in my life, I've felt a, a huge amount of fear and it manifests in anxiety and the rumination of thoughts and just, the, it's sort of, it's inhibiting. And there's a way to develop a relationship with fear in which it no longer becomes um, overshadowing who you are. And, yeah. Um, so, what I got from this is that we can use fear as a tool to benefit our life, mm. not harm us mm. or take over our life. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely, yeah, yeah. And, and it's, it's not a matter of sort of thinking more about how to overcome fear. It's a matter of figuring out what it is that you want to do in your life and then walking towards that. Yeah. How do you not let fear rule your life? How do you not let fear rule your life? Well, I let fear rule my life in many ways for, for up until probably this last year. And the result of that was feeling depressed and anxious all the time. And I wasn't doing anything. I was thinking a lot of things and I was feeling a lot of things. But I wasn't doing anything. And I think that this, this I keep coming back to it, it's, it's action. Go and manifest in the world what it is that you're feeling and thinking about. is true for you, um, that is a meaningful experience, um, yeah. What does truth mean to you or what role does it play in your life? I think there's, there's a truth that Speaking one's truth and being one's truth, whatever that looks like for you in the moment, is the path towards actualizing your potential. And I don't think there's any one truth that exists for everyone. I think that even individual truths will, will eventually change and shift, um, and, and that truth unfolds in the moment as you experience it. 